IronCAD's latest release embarks on a new collaboration capability called Smart Markup. This capability works in all of its products, including IronCAD Compose and IronCAD its core design application. Let's start off with an example using the IronCAD Compose application where we can open up an existing IronCAD file that was recre recreated by a designer. IronCAD Compose is used for reviewing and collaborating with various people. For example, when you open up this file in IronCAD Compose, you can see that this file is just an assembly with multiple parts, but you don't have access to the real design data inside of here. However, users can still interrogate this. For example, maybe we want to know what the size of our hole is in the center to make sure it fits the clearance. We can actually use our measurement tools, for example, our radius tool, just to see what the radius is of us this part. We know that it's a little bit too small, so we need to make a design suggestion to our designer to make a change to this. We could put an annotation here trying to detail that size, which would work in a lot of your markup tools, but IronCAD, using its new smart markup capability, can do more than just actually provide an annotation capability. It can actually make suggestions to the model. For example, we'll go ahead and make a review, and we're going to say we need to edit the radius. We're going to select our part, and it tells us what the current value is. And we say we know that needs to be 18 and a half instead of that. 17 and a half size. And we'll go ahead and hit OK to that. If we open up our comments browser, we can see that we've added a various a new step showing us the change that's being done and who made that change. We can actually actually add descriptions as well to better communicate the design change. Once we're done with our design change, we can just go ahead and turn off our review, and we can make this secure if we like. We can actually add a password so that whoever gets this may, can only see these changes if they have the password. But in our case, we'll just leave that blank and say OK. And you'll, new, you'll see a new icon that's added to that part, letting us know that there's a design suggestion or a smart markup on this particular part. We also can do some changes to the other part below it as well. So for example, we'll select onto this part, and we say we want to make some additional changes. Uh, and all the changes that you can do in this are up here in your basic markups. For example, maybe we want to actually move a particular hole, so we can actually say edit its position. We can select our hole, pick a new location. In this case, in IronCAD Compose, since it's just graphical data, we don't have really precise tools, but we can actually give enough information to try to make that suggestion. So if we open up our comment browser, we can just make a suggestion, move to middle of pockets. Or we can make clear suggestions, such as these, like we want to delete particular features. Maybe we want to delete this feature. We can delete this feature on the other side as well. And we can add additional features, such as holes, into our part. And maybe we want this on the centroid of our face. We want that to be a radius. Of 10, and we can set the depth to go through all, and set OK to that. We also can see that we may want to make some changes to this part. I think we need to give a little bit of clearance on this corner. So we'll just go ahead and say, let's go ahead and move this face out. And we'll just set it up to five units is good. Hit OK. And you can see all these steps that we've added are added into our tree, so we can actually clearly communicate what's going on in various steps. And if you filter through your steps on the left-hand side, you can see you know, what steps you're doing. You can see the definition of those steps that you're going to say, I want to knit delete this feature, that feature, add a hole, and it's given us information as we click through these steps. So we can see what's going on, not only in Compose, but when we share this back to the IronCAD applications that have the real information, you can get even more preview data. So let's go ahead and save our markup data. And we got our files here created. Let's go ahead and just do a save of this file. And once we're saved it, we'll just go over to our IronCAD application, and we'll see that our IC3D file, which is created from Compose, we'll go ahead and open up that file. And we'll see our markups are contained here. In this case, it's still, at this stage, it's still a graphical representation that doesn't have the real data. But once we try to access our data, for example, if we select onto our part that has the markup, and review it, it'll tell us that this model is a composed model. Do you want to convert it to the real IronCAD data? Since this started from an IronCAD file, we can actually convert it to the real data, and it'll actually load 
the real information uh, that uh, built the part, for example, all the features that define that particular part. And it also tells us these markups were made on the composed model. Do we want to convert those over to the part features to make the real valid changes? We'll go ahead and say yes to that. And as a designer that I'm reviewing these changes, I can now get a little bit more information. I can see in my browser tree, I can see the change that's being requested. I can also see the definition of the change. It says it's going from a 17 and a half to 18 and a half size change inside of here. And I can actually go to the next step to see that change occur. I say, yeah, that's about right. That's fine. There's no conflicts in our model if we make that change. And I can actually do other things. Like I, I can accept this modification and actually apply it to the real model. Or I can reject it and say, no, that can't be done for this particular case. Let's go ahead and accept this. So we know that change is what is required and it's already been validated. We can actually make this modification apply to the real model. And we can also back these markups up if we want to use these for later uh, communication or just design changes uh, that are, can be reviewed later stage. But we don't need to back up at it right now. But we'll go ahead and make that modification. And now our smart markup has been removed from our part and the change has been applied. So this markup capability allows me to make these changes to the real data without having to actually go back and actually redesign these as you would if you had a traditional view of markup tool where it's just an annotation type where someone actually has to apply those modifications to the real model as a manual operation of the design. IronCAD's flexibility with its smart markup, smart markup can do that automatically for the user. So now that we've seen the first markup, let's go ahead and go back to our other part. We can see that it still has a markup on there as we get as an indicator in our right hand corner that there's a markup. And we can also see an icon on the tree showing us that there's a markup as well. And if we go ahead and review this item as well, just by right clicking and hit review or selecting the review icon in the smart markup, uh, we can access that markup. Again, this is still a composed model, so we'll go ahead and reassign this over to the real data. And again, we can step through the various changes. And we can say, see the change here. In this case, he wants to move the feature into uh, to a new location. And if we read, read its comments for that next step, let's go ahead and go to the next step and review its comments about that change. It said move it to the middle of the pockets. We can see that that actually did not move that to the middle of the pockets. So in this case, we may not actually want to make that modification that was suggested. We'll actually make that later as a real modification. So we can actually not only uh, reject the whole changes, we can actually deactivate particular steps. So in this case, we don't actually want to make that change because it was the incorrect change by the user. So let's go back to our our next steps and we can again toggle through this and we can actually see the real results in IronCAD since we now have the real geometry and solid data of those modifications being made which those two seemed okay and we can see our next step is going to add a hole in our center which looks good and then we can actually go over here and see our move face operation which is the the not last step that was applied and it doesn't really give us the right result that needs to be uh, uh, applied to this model from a designer standpoint. So in this case, we'll go ahead and deactivate this step as well. And if we wanted to communicate back to the user of Compose what changes really need to occur, we can go ahead and do these now. For example, we want to do the move face operation. In this case, we want to move this one out maybe two units. And we can also do another move face of this part, not two units, to make an equal, equal distance move on our part to give us clearance for that hole and that other hole on the other end. And for our hole up here, since we have IronCAD, we have a little bit more control of how we uh, position features. So when we select our hole, not only can we pick it by a pick point on the geometry, we can actually use our tools that are common to us in IronCAD, which are the tri ball, for example, to be really precise. We can realign it to the center of the hole and just move it in a particular direction, or a locked axis in this case, and align it to the middle of our pocket so we know that it is actually precisely where it needs to be in this case instead of just a, a guesstimate of the markup. So we can actually see these markups, see our new features that are added to our Comet browser, and we can see our steps that we deactivated. Again, we can exit this review in case we need to send this over to someone else to review this file. You know, to go back to the original model so you can see that here's the original model. We see that there's a markup there. If we again send this to Compose or another user of IronCAD, they can come back into this guy, review the changes, and at this stage, after they review all these changes, they can accept or reject those. They can also save these parts out as individual parts to do additional uh, analysis on it. For example, maybe these changes may require a new FEA, FEA analysis to be performed to make sure all the changes are okay. 
the user can do that before accepting the modifications to the real model. In our case, we want to go ahead and accept this change, and it'll tell us that it'll remove its, that it'll remove all the markups from the part when we do this operation. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And we can see it'll actually go through and perform those operations for us. And again, if we want to back up this model uh, with the with this markups so that it can be added to maybe a, a data ma database system to where you can review all your engineering design changes, you can do so with saving these markups. We'll just ignore that for now. And we can see once we're done here, all of our modifications are automatically applied to us on the real IronCAD data. And now the design can actually move forward in the process. So it saves the whole communication and collaboration process between applications where people have limited access to the real data. It could be graphical representation for being secure, but they can still apply real design suggestions to the model, whether that would be a customer or someone else in the organization. And when it comes back to the designer stage that has an IronCAD or Innovate application that has the real solid modeling, they can actually see those changes and actually do more precise modifications to the data and still communicate and collaborate between different uh, individuals that have different access to applications or di different experience levels, if you will. So a very powerful and unique thing coming in IronCAD 2015, something new in the industry that no one has a markup capability on the real data that can be collaborated in a process between a graphical representation and the real solid modeling data that can apply to the real data in the end results.